Zanzi and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Bali Sadembe and this is Afternoon Express. I want to give a huge thank you to the Trending SA team for handing over the baton not only when it comes to entertainment but education. Now Noam Zanzi, we're not running late today. Change is abound on S3. We're now in a brand new time slot going from 5.30pm to 6.30pm on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you want to be ahead of the curve in the kitchen, be sure to diarize those dates. Now Zanzi, when I'm in the kitchen, you'll already know who to expect. I would like to give a warm round of applause and a very afternoon express welcome to our resident chef, Chef Domi. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing, Pali? Girl, I am good. I am feeling rested after the holidays. And you? I'm feeling great, Pali But We've got fridges full of leftovers. I, for one, am one of those people. To start it off, Pali, I've got some roast chicken that we made. Obviously, Easter's gone now, so we've got a fridge full of stuff. We've got some roast veg that we've got in there. We've got some roasted chicken that we've also got in there. Some of us obviously made, probably made some bread or bought some bread for people. All of that stuff, Balissa, and those hard cross buns. So now I would like to pose a challenge to our lovely chef here, the guests that you have in store today. Yes. To say, what can we make with all these leftovers? Okay, and <laughs> on that note, keeping leftovers in mind, today we're embarking on a cook along experience with one of the chefs to watch in 2021, Chef Linda. Now, Chef Linda, Utomi has put you to the challenge. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, more than ready. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to do with the leftovers today? Um, thank you for this opportunity once again, guys. So today we are doing chicken liver pate uh, that is going to be served with uh, pepper juice, cilantro, and gherkins. Mm. So it's actually a, a crostini, crostini that is uh, brushed with uh, garlic flavored olive oil. Mm. And then we pop it in the oven until it's crispy and golden brown because with crostini, you need that crispiness when you ah. bite it. It's nice. You can serve it as an entree. You can serve it as an appetizer. It's a beautiful Italian appetizer. And on that note, Mzanti, now you know the saying, if it's nice, we have to do it twice. Well, that's the reason we're back in the kitchen, not only with our favorite, but your favorite GQ-nominated chef for another cook-along. Now, we already know what's on the menu, but I want to find out how can I turn and upskill these leftovers and make them fresh? Yes. Okay, now we're going to start with our chicken uh, pate. Okay. So with this chicken leftover, can you bring it to me from sure. the fridge? Dip. You can actually, you can go a long way with this chicken. You can make a soup, you can make a pate, you can make a salad. You can just like shred it and put it all over the salad. So from here, I'll start by putting my stove on. So Chef Linda, as you're switching on your stove, I can see already that chicken is almost looking like a chicken coming from my yes. own fridge at home. <laughs> it's already cut up. We've taken our favorite pieces out. And what's left now is the breast. Now that breast is always so difficult, in my opinion, to whip up and make fresh and make juicy and succulent. So yes. that's essentially what we're doing today, using that leftover roast chicken, that breast, to make a beautiful pate. Yes. So now my, my pen is on here. You just wait. I'm waiting for it to heat it up. Okay. So from here, I'm just going to add a butter. Not all of it because I'm still going to use this one for the, the layer on top, the clarified butter, because the pate needs that butter on top to prevent it from drying out and to keep the flavor. So that. for now, you can start by slicing my baguette, the long bread. <laughs> Slice it nicely, thin, nice slices, and then you're going to start brushing it with garlic flavored okay. olive oil. And then we're going to So you're saying thin slices, ne? Yes, thin slices. So I've got the let crust me, let out. Let me show you one. Quickly. Ain't nobody <laughs> like crust. Okay, let's go. So we go like this. <laughs> Nice, medium, um, same size. So you don't want a big one and the small one. They must be like same Even. shape. Okay, to me, I'm roughly chopping Oops. my pepper juice, okay. gherkin, cilantro, uh, lemon for the um, for the salsa verde for okay. the topping. Yeah. So now my butter is melting here for flavor, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. This is crushed garlic and ginger for flavor. Okay, nice. Low heat, you don't want high heat because you don't want to burn the flavors. Yeah. You want to keep the flavors. After adding gar crushed garlic and ginger, I'm gonna add my bay leaves. I prefer fresh bay leaves because they contain so much flavor yeah. and they bring that beautiful aroma that can call someone walking from this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I know. You know what? It's so <laughs> funny that you're saying that. I was home this Easter holidays with yes. the family at Tequini in Durban. Yeah. And you know that saying, Uguti, you know that sense that calls you from the other side of the room, that yes. says, the other side of the road, <laughs> that says, come and eat. That's essentially what we're doing here. Yes. Making the aromas so, smell yes. so amazing that anyone and everyone will be flooding your household for some food. Yes, yes. And what I love about crostini, guys, some people, they call it bruschetta. Mm. It's an actually, like I said, an Italian appetizer. You can serve it on 
on your cheese board with your soft cheese like gorgonzola, with your semi-hard cheese like pe um, pecorini and all your, your cheddar, grapes, strawberries mm. to give it color with a sparkling of white wine. <laughs> it's sunny day, oh my goodness. So now, this is sauteing nice and golden brown. Now guys, I'm gonna add my chicken stock. You can use the already made chicken stock or you can buy the one from the sachets from the shops yeah. or you can do it from your off cuts of vegetables. Um, your, your, your liquid, your black peppercorns. But um, now that we're talking about leftovers, you could even actually use those very same bowls yes, and make a beautiful yes, chicken a stock. broth stock from yes, that. Stock. And then now I'm gonna add a dash of brandy to this. If you mm. don't want the alcohol, you, 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 you don't, do not add it. But that alcohol brandy flavor, it brings out flavor wow. that can take you, the taste of heaven. <laughs> and Earth. I can only imagine that sweetness coming out as well as you continue to cook out the alcohol mm. out yes. of that brandy. And that's what it's all about. Now I know Mzanzi how I was tuned into S3 as we open up the stage. And we were opening up with Trending Essay with these two incredible sisters, Kekeleto and Kiboni. And basically what they did, they took plastic and they upcycled it into bricks. Now talk about using <laughs> leftovers, right? Imagine being able to build something amazing out of recycled plastic, mm -hmm. creating bricks. But now we might not be creating bricks here in the kitchen, <laughs> but we're still using leftovers, still using things that you might chuck yes. away. We're recycling it here in the kitchen to make something delicious. Hey, Domi? Yes, 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 very much, Balissa. And that's the whole idea right now. I mean, with the sustainability being a, a pr something that's being preached to us every single day, the yeah. whole idea of having to use what you got and try and minimize, you know, what goes into the trash, that's exactly what we're trying to promote over here. Absolutely. Okay, um, guys, now here, I'm, I just, I was peeling my pear. So pear also, you can add any fruit to the chicken liver party. You can add an apple, you can add a pear, you can add apricot, you can add anything. We didn't use livers here. It's just <laughs> leftover chicken. <Okay. laughs> so maybe you have a chicken that has been sitting in the fridge, but it's not cooked. Take yeah. it out, drizzle it with olive oil, mm. preheated oven, um, rosemary, thyme, and mm. maybe some nice chicken spice. Let it cool down and then shred it and then have, have your salad or start your chicken pate from there. So that. now my pear is nicely cut. I'm just removing the seeds from here. So I'm just gonna start throwing my pear there. Okay. So you cook it until the pears are nice and soft. Okay. Um, when the pears are soft, and then you can start adding your cream. Okay. I'd and then your chicken. And then we could have finished it by blending it here to get that smooth, uh, thick, velvety texture. Yeah. And is that essentially the key to making a perfect pate? Yes, 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 yes. And another thing that I love about the, the chicken pate is that you can also, like when you wake up in the morning, you can, you can take this chicken, mm. like put it in the oven uh, with your butter, the raw one with your butter and other of, of your spices and make it like a nice breakfast salad with it. So you bring rest five star restaurant at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking about bringing your five star restaurants all the way to your very own kitchen at home, please just head over to the Afternoon Express website, afternoonexpress.co.za, to get the full recipe list and ingredients to be cooking along with us. Now, today we're taking all of those Easter leftovers and we're making them absolutely delicious, all courtesy of Chef Linda, and we cannot thank him enough. Now, Chef Linda, much like me, you're from Durban. Um, how did you enjoy Easter with oh the family? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> I'm from, okay, it's actually KZN and yes, Durban, but I'm from Newcastle. Newcastle. So Newcastle also falls under KZN and the Durban. S <laughs> action five in my daddy. In my daddy. <laughs> That's where I'm coming from. That's where I grew up. So my Easter weekend, I was cooking for the community. People, they are other, you know, I'm running a small bistro at home. Yeah. So while we're talking about Newcastle, I'm going to add my chicken here now. Mm. Yeah. And then add my cream. Mm. So this is going to cook just for a few minutes and then we're gonna pass it to the blender. So from Newcastle, by Easter weekend, I was cooking for my community. They order lunch packs from me. Oh. I do lunch packs, I deliver. I also bake cakes, guys. Wow. I'm a baker, self-taught baker. I started it during lockdown. Oh, I didn't know what to do, and then God gave me an idea. Bake cakes. I'm here for it. I mean, this is what it's all about, being able to empower yourself in the kitchen any which way you can. And that's essentially what I'm also doing here. My bread is ready 
already. I had a pretty simple job, Mzanti, I'm not going to lie. Um, I've already added the This is amazing. That, yes, it's beautiful. You can also add, like, maybe thyme here. We put, 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 put it in the oven now. For a few minutes, just until it's golden brown. Dumi, can you give me the one that is there? Yes. Okay, now, the... My pate here wow, is... Wow, that looks so good. Yeah, so this is the made one. Right here, this is coming very nicely. Mm. And then now I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Now I'm adding pepper just for, for, for taste. Beautiful. I mean, yes. Chef, as you're putting the finishing touches on this incredibly delicious dish, you're going to be whipping that up, making it that beautiful uh, texture that we love so much. Now, this dish looks delicious and is getting me so excited for dish number two. So stay tuned for that. But on social media, Mzanzi, we have not forgotten about you. Here's to hoping that all of you had a long weekend filled with happy eating. So what was on your family's table? Remember to use that hashtag Afternoon Express in all of your comments. Now, when we return, we're getting our healthy greens on in a crunchy baby spinach, sun-dried tomatoes and carrot shaving salads. Yummy! Yes! So, we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyle. And you, Michael? Classic! A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to the show, Mzanzi. Now, we are taking your Easter leftovers and we're upcycling them. We're on recipe number two. And if you'd like anything like me, then you are ready to start cooking. I mean, Chef Linda, what is next? Thank you so much once again. So now, guys, we are doing a baby spinach roast vegetables salad with all the leftovers that are in the fridge. Okay. Then we're going to drizzle it with a very tasty uh, apple cider vinaigrette mm -hmm. and then finish it off with crumble feta. Okay. My chef, to me, I'll please bring the you. baby spinach okay. and the roast vegetables that were left in the fridge. So we are cleaning up from the long, the weekend, the yeah. Easter weekend. We, wanna, we don't want to waste, there's no wastage anymore. Mm. And now 
We're going to create beautiful salad out of this. Chef, I, I need to stop you there. We're using roast veg, right? Roast but veg. But some people like myself have a whole lot of fresh veg. Can I give Bali some fresh veg? That you yes, please give her carrots to clean up the carrots okay, for me perfect. and then julienne or you can just shave them. So while you are taking that, this is baby spinach. It's already washed. It's already cleaned. It was left from my fridge <laughs> from the long Easter weekend. And then... I'm taking it out. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is please just clean it from the outside and then do the julienne or the um, shavings. <laughs> so essentially, yeah, that's, that, that's what it is. And that's what I love about being in the kitchen. I am definitely not a know-it-all in the kitchen. So having chefs like Tommy, having chefs like Linda it certainly does help me. And today it is all about the leftovers. Yes. Education, entertainment, but also keeping it delicious in yes. the kitchen. But now let's go, Dumza. I want to touch on leftovers in the human form. There's a lot of people who are leftovers in the Easter, like myself, because we spent Easter alone. You are not a leftover, I promise you. You know, I had spent Easter alone, and for the first time in a long while, it was actually quite fun just having to take a breather, you know, and taking everything, because I, I think a lot of people, a lot of big holidays are centered around family and so forth, and people forget that alone time, that, you know, just getting grounded a bit and doing all those things. So, just like these leftovers that we got here, don't yes. feel like a leftover. All you gotta <laughs> do is take in the goodness, take in all of that alone time, and just enjoy it. You know, self-love. Yeah. Yes. I have to <laughs> ask you guys, Siswami, how important is that for you? Because a lot of people, they love to crowd themselves mm -hmm. uh, with a lot of different attention from different energies. You, did you feel refreshed, rejuvenated, revitalized, ready for a new week? But so you're not seeing that I have a, a bit of a bounce in my step, hey. buddy. I'm there, like, I'm feeling it. I feel so rejuvenated, so alive. Yes, I got to... Refreshed. I said something about that so many lessons I learned in solitude because I got to just hear myself for a long... after a long time of just being bombarded by life happening you know yeah. so I feel like it was great to enjoy Easter and just look at how other people are celebrating Easter the recipes that you guys were making yeah. South Africa well <laughs> done well done Lale, La <laughs> Chef Linda, those pictures because you know when it comes to a holiday and everyone's around the table everyone is snapping their food yes. Instagram worthy type dishes yes. did you enjoy sharing and all that on, on social yes, media yes I did and you know what I've been working with a few brands that I can't mention now that I've been creating Easter weekend dishes Wow. sharing to the community what they can do as now we are doing with our leftovers from the uh, long weekend of Easter. So now guys here this the roast veg that was left from our Easter weekend so I just you can heat it up or you can just uh, oh. drizzle olive oil a little bit of spices, fresh coriander, fresh mint, and work around with flavors. And then now here from the bottom of my salad bowl, it's fresh baby spinach, mm -hmm. and then my, my, my vegetables, and then I can actually put more so that everyone can participate and fist. <laughs> so like here, um, Palisa, mm. my chef, my beautiful one, my sous chef, <laughs> She's doing a apple cider vinaigrette. I prefer homemade salad dressings mm -hmm. because there's no preservatives, there's no sugars, they are, it's healthy and they're cheaper. So you can actually use whatever that you have from the fridge, mm -hmm. your garlic, your olive oil, that liquid olive oil from That's the- That's left. Yes, mm. pinch of salt and pepper, squeeze of lemon, zest, finely chopped herbs wow. and, do, and shake it up in a jar. Your dressing is done. Chef, it Chef, is. Chef, you were, you were having a taste there. Can you um, share with the viewers what are you tasting? How is that? homemade vinaigrette coming along. <laughs> Thank you for no preservatives because I love the fact that it's so refreshing. You've got the, the earthiness of those roasted yes. veggies that are in there, the crunchiness of the baby spinach and the carrot that you're adding, and then the zinginess of this dressing that we've made here that has some honey, balsamic vinegar, apple cider vinegar. We've got some olive oil in there as well. We've got some crushed garlic that went into, into there as well. So all of this is just going to be bound together into an amazing salad with all the leftovers you had in your fridge and now you don't even have to worry about what am I going to do with yes. everything. You wow. can reuse you know, reuse, reduce, reuse, recycle. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I and love that. And also what I love, that chicken we from the, the earlier segment that we're using for the pate, you can actually even yes. add it here yeah. from the fridge. Take it out, shred it, and then add it to your salad. Okay, now, guys, my vinaigrette is ready. How? And so oh. are the carrots. <laughs> my I mean. chef, give me a high five. <laughs> 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 this is so beautiful, Julian. <laughs> I love that, Julian. Okay. And, you know, in the kitchen, this is what's so important. You know, keeping things clean, keeping things high. Hygienic. We are still in the middle of a pandemic, so our hands are clean. They're washed, sanitized, and closed, everything in the kitchen. So as you're putting that on together, don't mind our hands. We're just having so much fun. <laughs> Thank you. Going. Uh, and then now I've added my julienne carrots. Please, can I have feta? Oh, yes. It was left from our focaccia from the long weekend. <laughs> so now we're going to take our feta, 
before I add my feta, I'm gonna drizzle because I don't want my feta to be like to be soaky and to like to swallow this dressing. Yeah. So you just drizzle this. So while she's drizzling that, chef, I just want um to check what flavor. Oh, you're using plain feta here today. Yes. Love that. Yes. So now my vinaigrette is added, and then I'm gonna take my feta and then crumble it on top. So here you can also add, like, can you roughly chop this cilantro for sure. me? You can add fresh coriander, some call it uh, cilantro, it's from <laughs> Italian term, or mint. Mint works well with uh, desserts and salads. On that mm. note, I've got some fresh mint here, Ooh, so I can use beautiful. that. Just throw it on top. <laughs> that looks, looks really, colorful. really good. It looks rich, yeah. it looks healthy, with a homemade leftover ingredients to make the vinaigrette. Yeah. I also yeah. love the fact that you've said that we know what exactly went into that vinaigrette. We know exactly went into that salad. Essentially making sure that every person in the household is well taken care of. And that's what it's all about here. We need to make sure that the nutrients is there, the flavor is there. Yes. And also, I mean, if you have uh, someone like myself and my mom in the household, my mom is full on vegetarian, honey. Let me tell you. She loves her fresh greens and fruits and vegetables. Yes. So if we could add a little twist and spin and add a fresh fruit into this, maybe yes. a fresh fruit that was left over from breakfast, yes. what would that be? Could I add like a pineapple? You can add like a strawberry, okay. you can add like um, granadilla, you can add pears, you can add apples. Actually, yes, apple, you can just like julienne the apple and add it. You can add a red cabbage. Wow. There. That, that, that huge half watermelon that's left over, put it <laughs> in there. <laughs> I can already see Tumi's little boy going after the watermelon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my little one. How is he? Is he well? He's doing well. He's, he's ignoring the living daylights out of me. It's as if I don't exist. Him, his mom, uh, his grandmother and father are doing the best. I don't exist. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> well, Mzanti, if you have little ones that are ignoring you, just like Chef Tumi and her little one, don't worry because we are your family here in the kitchen and yes, we will we keep you entertained and we'll keep those ideas going in the kitchen. Now again, Mzanti, just head over to our website if you want to find out how to make this delicious meal. And I mean, from the estate to Trending SA to all things S3, we're talking about opening up here. So we're saying open up that fridge and use those leftovers. Now, Chef Linda is definitely on a roll today. So if you want in on this awesomeness, again, just head over to that website. But coming up, we head over to dish number three. So see you after these. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. 
Now, three is never a crowd in the Afternoon Express kitchen, and that's why we're moving along swiftly to our number three. Now, Chef, what do you have in store for us? Okay, now, guys, we are doing bo bo di, mm. <laughs> South African traditional dish. Oh, it is so nice. It's Delicious. It's actually curried mince. You can use pork. You can use any type of, of meat with vegetables, actually. And then you can add custard. Your custard, you make it out of the soaked bread with milk and then beaten eggs. That's your custard. And then you must make sure that your oven has humidity, like enough water rotating mm. so that your popoti, when you put it in the oven, doesn't dry out. I love that. Well, Mzanti, if you are a little lost and you want some guidance, please just head over to our website where you can get the full ingredients list and recipe to cook along with us. Now, Chef Tumi, this sounds amazing. I mean, I'm a huge fan of popoti, and it actually took the Afternoon Express Kitchen <laughs> to teach me how to whip up the perfect one. We're talking a Cape Malay dish. So why did you choose this, Tumi, in collaboration with Chef Linda for today's Cook Along? Balasa, if you're anything like me, when, you, when it's time for family, big gatherings, you stock up that frig, fridge. Hey, you <laughs> buy the lamb shanks, you buy all those kinds of meats. And one yeah. thing that you always have because it's a backup is mince. And we've used up all the mince. We made the fricadels, we made all the burgers because we were trying to be fancy. Now I've got a whole pack of mince that's left over. What am I gonna do with it? We've got so much bread left over. What am I gonna do with it? Yeah. So how's about a bow bow tea? I'm here for a bow bow tea. Bo -bo -tea. <laughs> I love the way you said that girl, a bow bow tea. Yeah. I mean, okay. Mzanti on social media, let us know if you're going to be trying this. But Chef Linda, you've got that um, lean mint open. Show us how to whip this up. Okay, so now the, 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 the first step is to soak our bread with milk. So can, we, can I have like maybe two slices of bread? Not too big, just thin slices. Thin slices again. Yeah, and then you put it here and then you pour your milk over. Okay, sure. Um, I'm getting started with the onions for you. Yes, can I have three eggs, please. I always get stuck with this job, like, <laughs> so why? So why are you, like, making me cry? <laughs> like... Three, yeah, uh, three is enough. <laughs> so with the popoti, uh, please can I have just a finely chopped onion. Okay. Yeah, just... Okay, so now here, I'll put my pen on. You remember this stuff last time? <laughs> I know. But you are a pro now in the I'm kitchen. This is your second time back yes, here on Afternoon yes. Express. You guys As... love me. <laughs> no, listen, well, of course, you're number one. They're right up on the list. And trust me, GQ agrees as one of the chefs to watch in 2021. We're here for Thank it. Thank you. So, my friend, here, this butter. I'm melting my butter. And then I'm following by adding my extra virgin olive oil. Many chefs, if you are a chef, there must be olive oil in your caput. Mm -hmm. So I'm pouring olive oil here. Olive oil is a healthier option. So I'm adding olive oil. Uh, okay, it's coming very nicely. And then after that, I've got my curry powder. You can use any curry powder. You can use the chili one. It's up to you if you want it to be too spicy or not too spicy, if you want those Indian um, flavors. Mm. But this is a South African traditional um, dish. And then I'm adding my curry powder there. Did you soak it? Okay, you can pour your milk <coughs> pour my all over your my bread. bread. Yeah, so that it soaks. Okay, this now is coming beautifully. I'm gonna raise increase the heat a little bit. And then now, just melting my butter. While my butter is melting, I have my apricot jam. Mm -hmm. So here, you're playing actually with flavors. It's apricot jam, it's sweet, we have vinegar, it's tangy. Mm -hmm. So sweet and sour mm -hmm. at the same that. time. Eggs, milk, oh. <laughs> you have to balance <laughs> the flavor. Yes, you're balancing the flavors. Balance Flavor the flavors. amalgamation. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm like a mama cool. <laughs> And Mzanti, I mean, I want to find out if I'm doing a good job here. I've already soaked my bread yes, in, the, um, in the milk. Is this just it? Yes, okay. beautiful. So here, I've added my apricot jam, and then I'm adding my turmeric, just for color, because popoji, guys, has to be, it, it has to have that yellowish mm. color. Mm. Then you can finish it with bay leaves, or fresh or dry, just to give it color, and also adding flavor. Beautiful. I mean, Chef Dumi, how's it going there with your onions, girl? I'm so sorry. We keep doing it to you. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm doing quite well, Papa Lisa. It seems as though I'm winning the fight for once because there are no tears over here. <laughs> yeah, and not I, <laughs> I just want to touch on the popo, Chef, which, yes, the typical way would be to add, not have any additional vegetables in there. But if you have any leftover veggies, you've mm. got some carrots, you've got broccoli, you've got anything that's in your fridge, you can actually put it in there yes. to bulk up your, your popo and make yeah. it more filling and also just make it go a long way. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So now, while this is Frying. 
Uh, how far with my onion chef? I am beautiful, ready. beautiful. This Whilst is amazing. Whilst you are you? popping in those onions within yes. the pan, I mean, what do you both, um, as chefs in the kitchen, what do you think people get wrong when it comes to poboti? And what tips can you share with our viewers? Uh, with poboti, uh, like it's a meat-based dish that is going to be served. It's 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 a casserole. Oh. Yeah, it's similar to lasagna. You can like pre, like re Prepare do it, it earlier in advance, pop it in the fridge, take it out, reheat it like lasagna. Mm. It has to be served with starch, like rice, like uh, not a stamp. <laughs> no. And then you can have maybe your salad. Your sal <laughs> that, that, no. that green salad, that's exotic uh, carrot shaving and roast vegetable salad, you can serve it with that. But yeah. popoti is a casserole that can be served with a starch or nice vegetables on the side to give that heaviness. You can even also in your salad have like croutons to give that starch yeah. for this uh, beautiful, beautiful dish. So now while this is sauteing, I'm going to add my raisins as well. If you don't like to add raisins, no, no smash, you can add nuts but if you also don't like that just keep it simple me a uh, curry um, curried mince and your egg and your milk and your other spices beautiful so the yeah. garlic just went in there thank you so much chef to me yes. and of course we can see see I just call them raisins <laughs> <laughs> I just call them raisins, correct me, um, <laughs> Chef Linda. Yes, uh, and then now I'm going to add my mince. So as I've told you earlier that popoti is a curried meat dish yeah. that you can serve with your side vegetables, your rice. I prefer basmati rice okay. because basmati rice is full of flavor and the aroma is so amazing. Mm -hmm. So Palisa, now... You were asking about what people get wrong with boboti and I think one of the biggest things that people get wrong, especially in the kitchen, is that you overthink things. You stress a lot. You worry about it's not going to turn right. It's not going to... It mm. is worth trying. It always is about touches and move. Try it out. See how it goes. If it didn't go well the first time, <clears throat> just keep doing it. Adjust the flavors here and there. Yeah. You know, that's the one thing that we love about having Afternoon Express uh, because the recipes are on our website where you can go back and reference and be like, okay, I saw them making that boboti. Take it. It's a basic. It's a standard. You can then go back and add your own flavor over there if you want to. You know what I mean? Mix. Exactly, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, my, while my mint is cooking here, I'm going to start... Okay, can you take one as well and do it? Sure. You we'll just roughly it. chop it and then leave one for our beautiful sous chef. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yes. I'm... I'm Chop yes. it, all right? Yes, just l roughly Let me chop it. the liquid Yeah, here, so right? you just squeeze it to take out the So milk. is that okay? The fact that I have just sliced up <laughs> this bread quite perfectly, quite evenly. It is soaked in the milk. And then do you know what my guest chefs do? They just scramble it all on up. But is there a reason why you're doing that? And why Tumi is also chopping it up? Yes, it is a reason. You can't put the whole slice in here. You have to give it a rough chop and you have to squeeze the liquid out because at the end, we're going to have, we, we, we want that milk. Oh. So we're going like break her egg, uh, give it a, a quick whisk, and then pour it over here. Beautiful. So while we, we, we're waiting for this meat, Beautiful. please squeeze out the milk and then just give it a rough chop and then bring it to me. Happy okay. to. Okay, okay this looks this really one. good. <laughs> More job for you. <laughs> Give me a chopping pot. Oh, so squeeze out the milk, one. squeeze out the milk. Yes, and then now I'm adding my roughly chopped bread. Um, and then just gonna give it a nice day. Keep on stirring. Okay, beautiful. Okay, now, Please edit for me, Chef. <laughs> I love that name. I, I, I can roll with that name, Chef. I just love how people out there, they're calling them chefs nowadays, but they didn't go to culinary <laughs> school. So you wake up in the morning, you do a nice dish inspired by Chef Linda, and then you're calling yourself a, a chef. chef. Now you are a chef. Yes, and that's what it is all about. I mean, I love the fact that here, we're able to upskill ourselves and learn how to turn something oh. that we're essentially a little tired of, the same old meals, and make them something brand new in the kitchen. Now, we've already gotten our first meal done. We've got our chicken pate. Mm -hmm. um, second, of course, we added that incredibly juicy, fresh salad. And now we've got the bobo dinner. Yes. Brilliant. Okay. I love that. Yes, Chef, can you edit here for yeah. me? Yeah, so this is all going into the pan. We're going to be fried yes. up into our bowl and Chef, then... Please give it a stir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dumi, so how do we wrap up this meal? So all of that's going to be fried up nicely, put into this bowl that Chef is mixing up there. Then we top it up with the egg custard that we're making, which is the egg and that leftover milk, into the oven, bake it. It comes out looking yes. golden brown, beautiful and delicious. I love that. <laughs> now, Mzanti, if you have any leftover hot cross buns um, or, of course, Easter eggs in your pantry, then please do consider yourself very lucky. And number two, be sure to stick around when we come back because we'll be showing you how to make a decadent apple trifle with those yummy leftover ingredients.
one of 10 Clover Classic Custard Golden Bunnies and win 50,000 Rand plus a free Clover Classic Easter Hunt kit. Collect all five and join the Clover Classic Custard Easter Hunt. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to the show where we have been whipping up a real treat from the top of the show all the way to the end. Just head over to our website if you want to find out how to make any of these dishes. Now we love to end our cook-alongs on a sweet note and if you're wondering what to do with those leftover hot cross buns and Easter eggs, then you might want to try Chef Linda's Clover Classic Cinnamon Hot Cross Buns with Apple Truffle. I see you holding your heart, <laughs> Chef Linda, dancing along to that sound. This sounds delicious. Yes, because this dessert, guys, it's, it, 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 it's like like a love letter mm. coming from my, oh, yeah. you know, Ikrasham. <laughs> Talk about exposing yourself, but I'm here for it. This is all about love. Sometimes food is a labor of love. It yeah. is. It is. I like to tell people that food is another lo love language because there's all those <laughs> other five, but then food on its own is a love language. So to be lovely and loving to ourselves, chef, everyone has Cupboards full of hot cross yes. buns. Yes. Says they're stale, man. They're getting stale. Yeah. We're gonna, yeah. How do we use yeah. them? And you can go a long way with the hot cross bun. You can make even uh, French toast. Okay. You can cut it in the pan with butter, uh, crispy bacon, drizzle of maple syrup, okay. some blueberries on top. Ooh. You wow. go a long way. You can make even pancakes. Just like uh, shred them or. Chop them, them up, put them. <laughs> put them in the blender, milk, and then give it a, 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 zzz, zzz, zzz. a little zippity. And then in the in the pan, a little bit of oil or of butter, and then that round egg ring. Mm. You can add that, that mixture from them and make pancakes wow. or flapjacks. The sky's the limit here in oh. the kitchen, but today we're whipping up something special yes. that comes from the incredible imagination that is your mind using leftovers. Mzansi, again, it's all about the leftovers today. Mm. Yes, so now, Dumi, can you start crossing my, uh, uh, slicing my hot cross bun, like thin slices, maybe you can cut three, it's okay. fine. And then you, my beautiful chef, break the leftovers Easter egg, mm -hmm. chocolate Easter egg. So you just give, break it like this, you can just mm -hmm. break it like this. Try to close it with your hand, like, so, so that, that it doesn't, doesn't go everywhere. Yes, yeah. Oh, wow, where have you been all my life, <laughs> said Rihanna once upon a time. Because when I ever, whenever I try to crush, whether it's nuts or whatever, my entire kitchen ends up with crumbs mm. all over the place, and I really, really don't like that. So I love the fact that yeah, I just have to cover it completely, crush it, and boom, yes. there you go. But you know what, Chef Linda, I'm going to tell you something funny. There are going to be no chocolate Easter eggs left over in my household <laughs> because we're going to eat them all. So if you're lucky enough to have some, this is what you do with them. Yeah. So now, what, uh, do we can 
have the apple. Uh, sure. It was left from our Easter weekend. And then after slicing my hot cross bun, can you just uh, shave it? How many? Uh, yeah, two is fine. Two. Yeah, so now my pen is hot. I'm adding my butter here. So what I'm actually doing here, I'm colorizing mm. the apples. So we want the brown rich color. So there's a, a secret and there's a skill for that. So while my butter is melting here, can you pass my brown sugar? Got you. Thank you so much. So there's a reason why I'm using brown sugar. I don't use white sugar because it's a hot cross bun caramel apple cinnamon that is going to be served with a clover classic custard so we need that brown color so brown sugar gives that brown dark color yeah. ah. and um the cinnamon as well we have cinnamon yeah okay can you just uh, um, remove the skin and then but slide like you them nicely pass me that small knife you've got there next yes. to you do yes. you want the skin gone yeah, skin you can remove on. the skin or you can keep it. It's fine. I prefer to keep the skin. It's, then let's it's do that mission. Yeah. <laughs> so while my butter is melting, I'm going to add my cinnamon. Cinnamon here. Beautiful. Just to give it color. Then give it a nice stir. Okay, How let me raise. How big do you want this, uh, these chunks? Even chunk? roughly chopped, it's fine. Okay. I'm going to give it, increase my heat a little bit. Okay, beautiful. And then now I'm going to add my sugar. Like maybe two hip tablespoons of brown sugar until the sugar is caramelized nicely. You don't want to have um, sugar that is not caramelized. Yeah. This is beautiful. Okay, now I'm adding my apples here to the cinnamon and brown sugar mixture. I'm gonna give it a beautiful stir. So now, Balisa, what we're gonna do is you can use like your clear glass cups, small ones, yeah. or you can use a large bowl. Mm -hmm. Like you know, in Christmas, in Makaya Masenza, that <laughs> trifle, yes. yeah. Or you can use the individuals. I prefer the individuals, they look classy and they're so presentable. You see, that is so interesting that you say that you <laughs> like the individual ones. And I get, you know, if you're having a dinner party or you're entertaining friends, you want everyone yeah. to have their own portion. Yes. But I kind and of love- And we have COVID in our day, so people must not mm. share. <laughs> Absolutely. I also do really enjoy family style eating and family style dining. So if you are some of those who love those big round glass bowls where everyone just dives in and has more and more and more, then you can do that too. Yes, so um, I'm not going to wait for this because the apples would take long to cook. Okay. So this is... I, I did this one earlier. You see the color, it's beautiful. Oh, the aroma is so amazing. Yeah. It's beautiful apples. You can also even use pear or apricot fruit that you like. Okay, Dumi, can you start doing it? Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm going to switch this off now. Okay, now I'm gonna start doing my layers. Can you give us our cream mm -hmm. and our clover classic custard? Okay, yes. again, using those leftovers, going back into <laughs> to the, the fridge. fridge. <laughs> That's what it's all about, going back into the fridge and enjoying all those goodies that are there. Yes. It's like a treasure hunt almost. And, you know, Vanessa, yes. and the thing about it is, if, like, I keep going back to me, right? Because this <laughs> is how it happens. I whisk it up, I look all fancy, do those nice dishes, and then you've got whipped cream sitting there in the fridge. You've got a half a bowl, bottle of custard sitting there in the fridge. You've used up whatever you needed at the time but now how am I going to reutilize yeah all your, can you understand that everything here is a leftover the eggs the hot cross bun the custard yeah. the cream all of it is a, a leftovers re, re, reduce re yes okay so I do now. me do me I'm do me <laughs> do me <laughs> Okay, so here we've already started with the bottom part, which is our hot crisp bun that was left from our long Easter weekend. Yep. So we're doing layers. So if you can try to make them visible so that each and every ingredient appears through the glass and make it more presentable. Mm. So now this is the hot crisp bun. Okay, I'm gonna add my cinnamon apple mixture. Gonna put it here. Wow. Uh, yes. Mm. Just, so you can good. actually even serve this with vanilla ice cream. Have your scoop of ice cream and then put this on top. With Melt this mm -hmm. with cream and chocolate sauce, drizzle it on top. That sounds Amazing. so good. I mean, at this stage, if you're someone like me who tries to cut out the carbs, we're definitely coming through with the decadence at the end there. So I love the fact here that you can play with it. You can mix up. Um, you don't always have to have it as traditionally as what we're making. Make it your own. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now I'm just going fi to quickly finish the next one. And then the next step is our whipped cream okay. um, to add because now you can see it's dark color so you need the color combination okay. to be exotic and very vibrant so now yes apples added 
And then now I'm going to add my cream, wow. my whipped cream. Just to me, this whipped like cream this. of yours looks amazing, girlfriend. Yes. I can see that you might not be have been with your family, but you've been working out in the kitchen. Those arms, girl, the guns. And girl, I did that, and I also did that trick where you put it over your head. <laughs> if, if, it does, if it does drip a bit, then you're not there yet. It has to hold its form over your head three seconds, and then it's whipped enough. Don't over whip it, because then you'll have butter. We're not trying to go there. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to open my Clover Classic Vanilla uh, Custard and Gin Edit. So we have brown, we have white, we have yellow. You can also add, at, 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 at the end, garnish with mint. Fresh mint to give it like green. that green. You can also use the blueberries. I heard you Make it as blueberry coolies. <laughs> blueberry coolies. A coolies is simply fruits that are caramelized with sugar wow. until it's syrupy and thick. So now, my Clover Classic, you add it like this. Now, I'm loving the fact that you're adding something that truly is classic to every South African household, which yeah. is that Clover Classic Custard. I mean, myself, it just reminds me of growing up during Easter, cutting that box all the way open, and honey, I'll just sit there with a spoon and just <laughs> until I end up licking the, cover, the, the, the cardboard box because it's just that delicious, it's just that creamy, and it's almost good for any dessert. And here yes. we see it's coming through in our delicious trifle and, um, and apple. chocolate apple yes, mix. Cinnamon. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna give it just a little dollop of whipped cream just to garnish. And whilst you're top. doing that, Mzansi, please listen up closely. That certainly is a treat. Now, what else sweet is it that you still have in time to enter the Clover Classic Custard Competition? Now, there are 10 golden bunnies valued at 50,000 Rand each up for grabs when you buy a Clover Classic Custard promo pack. And we know how 50,000 Rand can come in handy. Trust me, I, I would love some. That 5, I, I want you to. Well, then listen up, Chef Linda, because <laughs> T's and C's do apply and can be found on clover.co.za and if you want to don't want to miss out rather on chef linda's incredible recipe then please do head over to afternoonexpress.co.za Find one of 10 Clover Classic Custard Golden Bunnies and win 50,000 Rand plus a free Clover Classic Easter Hunt kit. Collect all five and join the Clover Classic Custard Easter Hunt. Made with love by Clover. Hey fam, are you passionate about hashtag Afternoon Express? Well, we want you to be a part of our interactive online audience. Send your name and contact details to afternoonexpress.cardo... at Cardova. Oh. Uh. Come back, ne? Interactive thing for when I back, come back from ad break. Our pharmacies are on the front line of healthcare. This is Pharmacy of the Week.
The one thing about Hillcrest Pharmacy and the pharmacist is the fact that they really get involved in the customers' lives as well. I grew up in Springs, so it's a big privilege to serve both the people that I grew up with and those that raised me. Self-care is very important because it's a way to identify any chronic conditions early and ultimately that will help your prognosis in the long run. In order to be brave on the front line, you've just got to show up every day, wear your mask, wear your smile and try your best. Pharmacy of the Week, proudly brought to you by Adcock Ingram OTC, sponsors of Brave. Welcome back to our Afternoon Express dining room where I'm ready to get eating. But hey fam, are you passionate about Afternoon Express? Well, we want you to be a part of our interactive online audience. Send your name and contact details to Afternoon Express at cordova.tv and you could be a part of our show. Now remember, you're going to catch us again on our next time slot, new time slot, 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But our next episode will be on Thursday for another thrilling cook-along. So you don't want to miss that. But Chef Dumi, Chef Linda, yes. let's get eating. Like now, what, what did we make? <laughs> like what, like Ekas, what we would say, Ar papi sing. Ar papi sing. <laughs> Ar papi sing. <laughs> now, Chef, you've, you, you, you knocked it out the ballpark because I gave you leftovers and you gave us a, a five star meal mm -hmm. yeah you know you started with that uh, pate that you made and who would have thought to make pate from pate. leftover chicken oh mm. guys yeah i'm gifted <laughs> a very gifted chef. okay so with the pate how you do is you take your crostini okay. remember with the, the garlic uh, flavored um olive, olive oil, oil. Yes. so you take so you remember even that clarified butter from the beginning that i was explaining to you mm. need this skin on top to prevent flavor and drying out okay. so from here what you do i'm just gonna demonstrate quickly you just a teaspoon you put it like this you mm. can spread it and then well you might as well put that there, put that there. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay and then here we have our pepper chew with cilantro and gherkins um in lemon zest and pinch of salt and pepper garlic so this is for our topping wow so you put it on top like this Ooh. some call it uh, bruschetta, some call it canapes. It's it's a Chef very well. Italian, it's a very tasty Italian uh, appetizer. Mm. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh, the, mm. the table wants to eat. This food is so tasty. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna do mine as well. And then what I'm doing while I'm doing mine, we have also our popoti. You remember mm -hmm. from our leftover mints from the fridge and our uh, basil, fresh basil leaves on top. Our eggs, our milk. And you remember I, I explained earlier that popoti. It's a South African dish. It's a traditional South African dish, but other countries, they are trying to imitate it, but the beautiful <laughs> one, the, the Makoya mm. from South Africa. I love that. Country. You know, as um, Oliver Twist would say, please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> can you please dish up some pupoti for me here? Yeah? So remember, oh, I've already dished up the salad. So the salad, there's vegetables, there's, um, there's carrots, mm. there's... Um, uh, butternut, Fresh baby spinach. Yes, there's butternut, so it can give you, if you, you don't want starch, like you have starch from your crostini, but if you want more starch, you, you don't have crostini, you can have croutons. Oh, so yeah. from this crostini, you can turn it to croutons. Just give, break it, break mm. it, and then uh, sprinkle it on top. Mm, and then, good. with apple, can you hold it for me? Of course. Okay. And don't apple be stingy there. Ah. <laughs> Tell me, how's it going there? Um, how are you enjoying apple that uh, chicken pate? Look how, the, the, it's so beautiful. Yeah. You can heat it up like a lasagna, you can pre-cook it, leave it in the fridge there's no problem but it lasts up to two days you can even freeze it oh well the taste is in the yeah. the, the eating dish up for you, <laughs> yes please balasa yes. what i'm loving about this dish right now especially uh, the the starter our pate is the fact that it tastes so delicious from all those ingredients that went into it you know the chicken itself and the fact is you wouldn't even say that this is leftover chicken mm. that you had sitting in your fridge you'd swear that this is a completely new dish mm -hmm. and then that paired with the salsa verde the pepper dew salsa verde chef because you've got <laughs> Can I dish the salad for you? As I well? love that. Can you taste so the flavors from the vinaigrette? Um, it's delicious. It's and so this bukoti is the perfect balance of sweet and savory, mm. which is what I'm all about. Yeah. I'm definitely tasting those flavors coming through that apricot jam that you put in, you know, the sweetness of that brown sugar again. Oh, this is amazing. This is delicious. Coupled with the freshness of the salad, a winning recipe. Remember about the crispy and the crunchiness I was telling mm. you about? You cannot call it a crostini or bruschetta without this sound. <laughs> Ooh, that's that crunch. 
Mm. Mm. Amazing. Mm. Guys, you must try this recipe. Amazing mm. like you. Now, we have been asking everyone on social media, please share your family table with us. What were you enjoying on Easter? And we've got Eric, a top fan. And Eric says, it was seven colors and a whole lot of birthday cakes, cookies, and custard. I've got to say I enjoyed Easter. Did you enjoy yours, team? I mean, I think it's safe to say we all enjoyed ours, ne? Yes, yes. I did, Melissa, definitely. I love that. I Lizette also says um, here on social media, we had a full chicken roast with grilled vegetables and rice for dessert. For dessert, we had vanilla sponge cake with ice cream, hashtag Afternoon Express. It seems like vanilla sponge and ice cream is a standard when it comes to mm. desserts, ne? Yes. It, it sounds very much like what we have on the menu today, because she said roast chicken. Well, we have roast chicken, but yes. it's a pate. Yes. You said roast veggies. Well, we have roast veggies in our salad as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. Did she say rice, rice pudding? Rice. No, no, no. Ute, Ute had, she had rice with yeah. the main meal. But then for dessert, um, I'm going to couple your dessert, which is that sponge with the vanilla ice cream, yes. next to ours. Now, Chef, <laughs> I don't have a sweet tooth, so um, this is going to be a challenge for you. I'm going to give you my score out of 10, and let's see how you did. Come down with Chef Linda. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Well done, you did it. You killed it. And this is exciting, and do you know what this makes me so much more excited for? What to expect on Thursday? Thursday, 5.30 p.m. What can we expect to see, Chef Dumi? Valisa, you know that we're all about the juice, right? We're all about mm. linking you up and hooking you up with those recipes. So we're bringing in Chef Robin, who's going to be coming here, showing us other recipes, showing us ideas on how to utilize those ingredients in your fridge. Mm. Now, we're going into uh, autumn times. It's getting a little bit chillier now, you know? Mm. So we need those recipes that sort of warm mm. you up on the inside out, right? Yeah. So we'll be basically going into our colder months with a yeah. nice, delicious, Delectable menu. Cuisine. I don't want to give too much away. I need you guys to stay tuned so you can actually see what we've got mm. up our sleeve. Amazing. I love that. And also what makes me so excited, not only about our new time slot here in Zanzi, but you get to be an interactive part of our audience. Not only do you enjoy ho um, from your home and from your couch, not only can you send in your comments on social media, but you can also send in your videos, your comments and your questions. And who knows, you might be featured here on Afternoon Express. And that's what I'm all about. Essentially, we're taking a turn when it comes to our content yeah. and the conversations that we're having on Afternoon Express, being more mindful in the kitchen. Yeah. Definitely, Balissa. And that is not only just about being mindful in terms of using the leftovers and reducing, reusing, yeah. recycling, but also just how we treat the earth that we live in. We'd like our children to actually have an earth to live in, a planet yeah. to live in. Yeah. So yeah. it's all about that, being thoughtful, being mindful of how we process the food, how we ingest it, how we plant it, yeah. all of that. Yeah. Mm. And what I love also about this um, leftover Easter weekend, using them, creating beautiful, tasty dishes, mm. is that people must, must apply FIFO, first in, first out. Mm. Sometimes <laughs> other... Um, uh, ingredients they have a short lifespan. Even if you do do a, 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 a fee for first info and you label your food when oh, it was yes. placed in the fridge, mm. but they have a, a short lifespan. So it's very important to do a, a fee for and take those um, those ingredients and create these mouth watering mm. dishes Loving from it. canapes to popoti mm -hmm. to a salad to mm. a dessert. Mm. Delicious, Mzanzi. Well, again, just head over to our website to get the full ingredients list and recipe to make these incredible meals. Well, Chef Linda, thank you so much for coming through and visiting us yet again here on Afternoon Express. Clearly, um, we need to just get you a place here in Cape Town <laughs> because we're going to have you stay. Thank you so much, Dumi Nawe. <laughs> and thank you for tuning in. Good night, stay safe, and happy eating. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Make the most of glorious 